Welcome back to Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Well, the market is looking pretty good at the moment. The Nifty is now up 124 odd points and the Sensex is seeing a gain of almost 500 points. The stock that's reacting very well to both its numbers as well as the management commentary is Glenmark Pharma. Just pull it up for you, 4% higher now on that stock. Ekta, what's the key takeaway from what you heard? Well, you know, it is actually quite a development for Glenmark Pharma to be reacting positively to its numbers two days in a row. We haven't seen that happen uh, post its quarterly numbers for a couple of quarters now. So this is definitely positive. The street obviously likes the commentary from the management as well. Now, in terms of guidance, the company did say for FI23, the guidance is a revenue growth of 6 to 8% EBITDA, which is similar levels as FI22. Now, the company says that Q4 should also possibly see a turnover of around 3,400 crores. That is the asking rate to reach that 6% growth. They are confident of doing that. Margin has hit 18% in the last couple of quarters, so they are striving to achieve those 18, 19 exit run rate margins for FI23 as well. So they are hoping to reach those targets. They keep, um, uh, in terms of the US sales, Q3 FI23 hit $102.3 million. The company says that US sales should possibly be around this $100 million mark on a quarterly run rate uh, going forward as well, which is definitely a positive because then uh, the street would anticipate maybe a scale up slowly in the US sales. Now, Monroe has an official action status. Goa has a warning letter. Badi has an import alert. The company says they're working on remediation for Monroe and other plants such as Badi. They are doing their best in terms of remediation. They don't see the US business being impacted because of these US FTA issues at this point. Net debt, 2,615 odd crores. They're confident on reducing net debt. Debt reduction will be via internal accruals. FI 24, they're estimating 10 to 12 percent growth, margins of around 19 percent. Don't need to divest further in terms of the India business. We did speak to the management, listen in to what they had to say. As far as our uh, overall guidance is concerned, okay, if you see over the last couple of quarters, consistently we have had a turnover of about 3,400 around thereabouts, okay. So, quarter four also, we should be close to that or a little higher than that. As well as our margins, uh, while the first quarter was a little low, the second two quarters will come out very close to the 18% or higher, okay? And last quarter also we did about 17.91. So I think we believe that quarter four will be seeing some good opportunities. We are actually working on the remediation side, both at the Monroe plant as well as our India plant, India sites, including Baddi as well. So I think last quarter also there were quite a few of remediation effort done, even the next quarter is going on. So I think, We'll uh, take it as it comes, but as far as we are concerned, we are doing our best in terms of the remediation, I think. And with the kind of work we are doing on the margin side uh, and lower cost across some of the uh, line items, we feel uh, 19, uh, between 19 to 20% is something that we should be really working towards. And uh, obviously, this should help us to pare down some of our debt. Even if you look at it, last quarter, we done about 100, million, 100 crores in our net debt. So, while we may not put a number to that, we definitely are confident we'll uh, reduce it further. All right, so that is the management of uh, Glenmark. Just uh, don't lose sight of the market. Just five points away from, uh, in fact, as we speak, uh, two points away. And if we hold on for maybe a second or so, we will see the Nifty hit that 17,900 mark once again. 17,899 is where we are at right now. The last bit of an uptick has been led by the Nifty Bank, which has been an erstwhile underperformer, but now has picked up some pace. The Nifty Bank, too, sitting with three digits in terms of gains. We come back and... Uh, get talking about earnings, uh, the management of IRB Infra joins in to discuss their third quarter numbers.